This program is paid for by Innovative Medical Associates. All opinions or statements expressed on the program are solely those of Innovative Medical Associates or their guests and do not reflect the opinions of WPHT or Odyssey. Talk Radio 1210 WPHT, WPHT HD, WOGL HD3, Philadelphia. Now, Health Watch. Featuring Dr. Molly Fantasia, the PhD doctor and founder of Innovative Medical Associates, with valuable information that could help you improve your quality of life. Now, Health Watch. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Health Watch every Sunday, 8 till 9, right here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. We have an eventful day today. Already, <laughs> right, already. John? Already we, it's an eventful I mean, it, day. It happens all the time, but we're here. Technology, and, brother, <laughs> technology. We're ready to, to, to talk to you for the next hour at 855-839-1210. If you have a medical challenge or a question for Dr. Molly, it does feature, Health Watch features Dr. Molly Fantasia, the Ph.D. doctor, the executive director, and the founder of of Innovative Medical Associates located in Marlton, New Jersey. And we talk about the who, what, when, where, why, and how of Innovative Medical and how they can help you, potentially help you and your family improve your overall quality of life. Before we get started, Dr. Molly, it is a very special day for you. We want to say happy birthday Thank you. to Thank Dr. You, Molly, who is mm, years yeah, old. No, no, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, John, that, that actually leads me into the two gentlemen I want to say a shout out to, okay? Steve and John from uh, Jersey Door, and I think it says Jersey Door and Architectural, right? Yes. But, you know, it's funny. John is about our age. He listens re- religiously to this station okay and he brought in the younger guy because dr molly can do a lot of things in terms of your health and tell you where to go but man when i need glass i got to go to these kinds of guys so i really appreciate it they came right over and they're just great guys and great guys to work with just a shout out to you're like me when it comes to other things other than Uh, what we do here yeah man i'm I'm lost i am (laughs) not a handy girl okay that's all i can say thank you thank you boys for coming out to see us uh this past week. Thanks. All right, 855-839-1210 is our number here in the studio, and we always start the show off with, I ask a question, what do you do, Dr. Oh, Molly, man. Innovative Medical? You, John, it is, it's, it's really, you know, we repeat this, but I'm really glad that we do, because invariably someone always calls the office and says, we're really not quite sure what you do. So let's start by saying we're a group of like-minded healthcare providers, and they work all out of the facility, my facility, which is a primary care facility. So we can do anything that your old G- GP used to do or your family doctor or your general practitioner. So if you need a prescription, we can write for the prescription. Uh, we see all kinds of patients who have things as simple as hypertension to more complex things. But what separates us from what I would say the traditional primary care is that we're looking at whatever type of challenge you have, and we would like to help help you conquer that or arrest that by utilizing natural substances as well as conventional should you need them. But we really want to limit the amount of the normal pharmaceutical or the combination of pharmaceuticals that generally you get when you go into your primary care doc's office. When you get a prescription every time, every time, you get a book with it. That's right. And it tells you what the thing can potentially harm you with, right? not how it's going to help you. So... Yeah, Talk that's like number that. I mean, one. Well, you know, ever since the invention of the black box, I mean, it's all over everything. But the point is, if we, our philosophy is, let's bring in some of God's ingredients that can help effectuate the change without without giving you side effects or minimal amount of side effects as compared to the pharmaceutical. And in addition, really help you get to your goal and keep you safe. The whole idea is to utilize God's ingredients. And the way we do this is by hydration. And hydration has been a medical modality for hundreds of years, John. First thing you go into a hospital, they give you hydration, hydration. right? And more and more, you're hearing about people being dehydrated during these times. So, yes, we utilize hydration. So, the manner in which we deliver these nutraceuticals is different, and that's what really sets us apart. You deliver it through hydration, right? But you deliver it in such a way that it 
it, it creates a synergy right. with other things. Right. And whether that's what makes the effectiveness. Right. Whether it's with your pharmaceutical, should you need it, or we put additional uh, nutraceuticals in to help effectuate the change. And again, this is done very deliberately, and it's done for each individual patient. So in other words, no two people with very few exceptions. There's sometimes there, there are, are duplications, but with very few exceptions, most of our patients are getting a unique recipe for them and whatever the challenge is for them. So it's, it's customized to right. the patient. Right, exactly like you would do when you try to customize if you went into the emergency room and you have to leave with a bunch of, uh, let's say, a bunch of capsules, uh, pharmaceutical capsules. What are they doing? They're picking that out for you and saying, oh, this works, that works, whatever. So in addition to... You don't throw out the pharmaceuticals. No, you don't, no, definitely not. But you not. lessen it. Is right. That goal? I, you will never, right. You never will hear Dr. Molly tell you to get rid of your pharmaceuticals. First of all, you have to do that rather carefully. Secondly, you don't just stop any pharmaceutical because then you can have something called rebound, which means it makes your situation worse. And so what we want to do things is very deliberately. Uh, the one thing I would say about my medical directors, both of them, is that um, they're not pill happy. They're really not pill happy. They get it. If you need it, we're going to give it to you. Um, and of course, we have a whole range of uh, specialty people that we can send you to this week. On my calendar's filled with patients going to various specialists because we've gotten them in shape enough to go. So um, for specialized procedures, that kind of thing. So we're full, we're, we're pretty interesting kind of facility in how we deliver our nutraceuticals to the patients. Let me ask you, because a lot of times people say, yeah, but Dr. Molly, does this work? Well. <laughs> so <clears throat> let me ask you about nutraceuticals in general. Sure. Do they work? Yes. The short answer is yes. But how they work is the key to this. Remember, if thing, people turn their nose up at nutraceuticals or natural substances, it's because they don't understand the biochemistry of the natural substance. Usually there is some constituent in that substance that actually effectuates the change. When we think of things, I use uh, frankincense as a great uh, example because frankincense has the boswellic acid, which is a nutraceutical that actually is anti-inflammatory in nature. So when we know that they gave this to the Christ child, it was a really wonderful gift because it can effectuate the change in an anti-inflammatory, promoting an anti-inflammatory environment. I know this is a difficult question to answer, but what works best, in your opinion, <laughs> what of the nutraceuticals? Is there one or two that you know, stand out? That is, so, that is such a loaded question because, again, my belief is the synergy of any and all of them together. Today we're going to talk about something that we never talk about, CoQ10. People think it's, oh, you know, it, it's a vitamin. Well, actually, it isn't a vitamin because the body does uh, actually make CoQ10, but we'll get into that. The point is there are so many nutraceuticals out there. What do you use it with? In other words, which other nutraceuticals? And can you safely use it with some of the pharmaceuticals? Therein lies the art of doing this. And and you've really perfected that because you're a scientist by nature. Right. I'm a scientist by trade, yes. and that's what I like to say. I definitely, I was a bench chemist by trade. So I'm saying, listen... There are ways to do this. You have to take the time. You have to understand what it is you're trying to accomplish. And you have to realize, John, you know, people come to me and they start with me and they have one challenge. By the time they're done with me, they say, well, you know, Dr. Molly, this now bothers me and that now bothers me and this. Th and I say, hey, hey, wait a minute. Now, did I help you with the first one? Oh, yeah. Well, now we got to Okay. No worries. And that's just human nature. And then there's me with a, a well, ton of challenges. Well, you came to me with uh, a couple and uh, through <laughs> the Ton. years we've had some additions yes. but thank god most of this is under control john yes uh how many treatments can people expect and that's another loaded question big time because you know 
five, ten, sure. fifteen. Generally, what is it? generally people start to feel better in as little as five weeks. Okay, if if they come in maybe once or twice a week, and it depends on when they come in in their continuum of care. If you come in with stage four. Uh, cancer and you've already had 40 uh, chemotherapies and you're looking like a skeleton, it's going to take more than five treatments for us to really rebuild your functional medical uh, challenges so that you can actually or reduce the, the medical challenges and build up your functional nutrition so that at least you can get around that kind of thing. So uh, there's many ways to look at this, but generally within five weeks, we start to see some changes. Certainly some people within, between five and 15 weeks actually effectuate the change we're looking for. You have had a lot of new patients lately, and I just wanted to pass this along. The other day, you're talking to a new patient and you said to her, you see that guy over there? And it was me. That's my host. Oh, you're real. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, well, see, we, we tell the truth here on the show. Well, that's what we said. You and I were talking out there. The thing is, what I like is that I'm going to see you at least once or twice a week. And so that is very helpful because, remember, I have great nurses. And nurses are trained to do what? They observe. That is what they're trained to do. Yes. They observe. Well, guess what? They're observing you from the minute you sit in your chair till the minute you leave. And what happens is they can tell me, hey, Dr. Molly, you better talk to Pat, Dr. Pat, or you better talk to Dr. Linda, or you better do this, or you better check this out, right? Uh, I feel somebody's got a little bit of a change. Well, guess what? That's very helpful. But I make it a point to at least walk through the clinic several times a day to talk to everybody while they're in the chair and then of course to have the appointment set up to talk one-on-one -on -one. and lately it's been a very very busy place it has <laughs> been very busy it and has been very busy but you know what that actually is really a testament not to what we do but mostly a testament to how how corporate medicine has changed and yeah. made people really it's a mess it's a mess. They can't get they can't get appointments to specialists. It's just you know they're four months out, and you know this yourself. Yeah, oh, who right. wants to see you? I don't want to see you for six months. Well, they're having a little problem. They can't get a hold of anybody. Uh, go to urgent care. I mean, it, it is a challenge right now, John. We are coming up on our first break of the morning. The show is Health Watch every Sunday eight till nine here on Talk Radio twelve ten WPHC. I'm your host, John Damasi, with. Dr. Molly Fantasia, the Ph.D. doctor, the executive director, and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates located in Marlton, New Jersey. 855-839-1210 is our number here in the studio. And you know what we always say at this particular point in the show. Call early because every week we have a call at the end of the show and we really can't take the time to uh, answer the question. So call early. We've got plenty of time to talk to you. 855-839-1210. More of Health Watch right after these words. Back here on Health Watch, as always, operators are standing by at Innovative Medical Associates. And if you want to talk to them right now, you want to make an appointment to sit down with Dr. Molly, the initial consultation is complimentary. And that's where you really learn a lot about what Dr. Molly can do, her and her staff, how they can help you potentially. It's a, it's a very, very interesting way to, to get started with this process. 856-489-0505 is the number. 856-489-0505. That's the number for Innovative Medical Associates. And you want to check out the website because it's got a lot of information there as well. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. That's the website. It's Health Watch here every Sunday, the live version, 8 till 9, Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. We're going to go to the phones. We'll talk to Stephanie in Ridley Park. Stephanie, good morning. You're on Health Watch with Dr. Molly. Hey, Stephanie. Good morning. Hi. My question, Dr. Molly, is about Oswelli. I heard you mention it. Sure. I have inflammatory arthritis, and nice. I know that Boswellia acts yeah. on the same pathway as something like Plaquenil. Yeah, yes, it does. <laughs> you're, you're an educated consumer and patient, yes. Right, but I can't take the Boswellia. It gives me such heartburn, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Well, you know Is what there... I th 
Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. It's interesting that you say that because I deliver it quite often IV. Many people can have a problem with it. I think a lot of that depends on the particular product of the boswellic acid that you're taking. Um, and, you know, um, we have used, we, we can recommend a couple of products, but frankly, the best way to deliver it is through the IV. And it really, really helps. It really does. And there are very few side effects other than the heartburn. It's a, it's a shame. I'm sorry you're having that problem. But again, look around at the brand. May I ask, what, what, how much were you taking, Stephanie? Um, well, it was by Pure Encapsulations was the oh, first no. time I took it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it was okay. Well, 400 milligrams. Yeah, 400. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe what you, I know that they tell you don't take it, take it on an empty stomach, I guess, but I wouldn't. I would try. I mean, uh, I don't want to give uh, a problem to uh, the, the particular brand. But again, you can look around. There are some other brands. And maybe what you do is split the dose. I mean, there's a couple of ways to handle that. Uh, but I, I'm glad that you were started to take it, and I'm sorry you're having trouble. But again, that's probably the only side effect I know of it, really. It's a shame. Right. Well, I also tried Terry Naturals, mm-hmm. Terry Naturally. Okay. Same thing. Couldn't take yeah. more than the one dose. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are, do you have any other digestive issues? Just curious. Oh yes, I have gluten intolerance. That's it. That's it. The other thing is, you got. I, I I thought that because generally it happens for people who have other types of GI issues. The question becomes, many things probably can give you the heartburn. I'm sure because again, even though you have gluten intolerance and they're gluten free or whatever, there there can be some traces of gluten in some of these products, and you know that also would give you a problem. Um, feel free to. Come in to talk to us at the office. I'll happily uh, talk to you a little bit more. The digestive issues, believe it or not, can be related to what you have in terms of the other issue, the other autoimmune issue you have. So it all goes together, my friend. It all goes together. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thanks for the call, That was a nice call. Very nice call. Would the hydration solve the problem of the heartburn? I think it would, and I think the other issue is, interesting issue is I probably would put her on a low dose of some other thing that may help her digestive issue while going through this. But again, and again, I make no comment on those brands because fundamentally they're good brands she's taking. I mean, you know, I don't endorse any, you know that, but you know, she wasn't, she wasn't skimping on her brands. In other words, she was paying some a decent change for the brands, and that is important, too. You want to get the best brand you can afford of anything. It's worth probably Stephanie calling you. and uh, God bless her, and I mean it, because it's more than one issue she has. We uh, have another caller. We have oh. Jane in South oh, Philadelphia. Boy. Jane, good morning. Hey. Welcome Hi, Jane. to Health good. Watch. Hi, Jane. Good morning, and I, and I hope I could get over to see you, because um, I myself, I'm skinny as a, as a skeleton. <laughs> 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 yeah, because hey. I was on a, a water ahead. pill, a water pill, January 27th. It took me down 18 pounds to 132, and I stopped it six days short when I started looking like a pencil and wrinkly oh, all over. You know so, what, Jane, you got to be really careful with those those particular, those Lasix, right? You really do. Did you take it according oh. to your doctor's prescription or... Yeah, it was called tersamide. Tor- oh yeah. Oh wow. God bless you. So, so, uh, what are you doing now? Why did he prescribe that for? for... Oh, because I had swollen feet and yeah. ankles, mm-hmm. which started from eating a lot of salt and a lot of Chinese food. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Well, probably a perfect. Uh, you normally it'd probably be a perfect solution. But, you know, the other side of that is you, we ought to look at some of the other reasons why you were having that. I hope they did because um, I can tell you, you want to watch. I mean, when you're when you're on this, you lose a lot of minerals and things. I would imagine minerals. that's another thing, right? I so, don't know. I'm, that's why I want to come to you and check oh, it and get that um, vitamin panel test oh, and everything. God bless you. God bless you, my dear. Okay? And well, I... We'll be praying for you, my friend. 
Let me ask you one more thing. Sure. When you get out, when you take a nice clean bath and you get out and you dry yourself, you see brown, I call it dirt, but I guess it's dead skin cells. Uh-huh. When you so what, what kind what kind of bath were you taking? I'm sorry, I didn't just catch a plain, that. Just a plain, plain. bath oh, or a okay. shower. Yes. A nice okay. clean bath shower. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. and then you and you rub off with your towel and you say, Why is this dirt rubbing off on the towel? You just had uh-huh. a shower. Is that is that what you call dead skin cells? Could be. It could very oh. well be. Do you have dry skin norm well, I'll tell you one thing. If you were taking that, that uh LASIK at, or that particular water pill and you were dehydrated, I'm sure you had dry skin, dear. I'm sure. Uh, Think about yeah. when you had this. I bet you it was during that period of time. Well, God no, bless this, you. the dirt been rubbing off for a long time. It's just well, been something bothering me, you know, why you okay. why you see the dead skin cells. Well, but, I, um, I think it could very well be dry skin, darling. Yeah, and pe- particularly this winter, we had a terrible winter. God bless you, dear. Come on yes, over. Yes, and co- come Talk on in and get that other problem thank, solved. Thank you, honey. Or potentially get it. You, you'll get some advice and oh, get yeah, some help. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. 855-839-1210. We're going to, and, and Frank, if you can hang in there. Oh, it's we'll, Frank. We'll, it's we'll, we'll Frank. take him after the break. Okay. We're uh, coming up shortly on a break. Uh, it is Health Watch every Sunday, 8 till 9, here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. John DeMassey with Dr. Molly Fantasia, the Ph.D. doctor, the executive director, and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates. We're going to talk after the break. We'll talk to Frank, and then we're, we're going to talk about coenzyme Q10. Mm-hmm. Why is that important, Dr. Molly? Now you want me to well, talk? Well, we just, just answer that question. Because it, it, is, <clears throat> it, it is, works on the powerhouse of your cells, and I will tell you that it keeps us going from the time we were born till the time we pass into the heaven. So believe me, it is extremely important, and it's an enzymatic. It is not really a vitamin, and uh, the body makes certain small amounts of it, but I think we have to augment it. And when you find out, how much good it does, and it has very, very few side effects. You'll see it's a good thing. And should everybody be taking it? Well, yeah, I would say yes. I know I take it. (laughs) Yeah, and you should because, again, it's given routinely. Even the cardiologist tells you, take CoQ10 if you're taking any one of the statin drugs. Absolutely, they know that the statins deplete your CoQ10. But I got to tell you, it has many, many other uses besides taking care of you with the statins. It has a role in total mitochondria ATP, and that's the conversion of raw energy to form of energy that our cells use. Complicated but necessary. Complicated but necessary. Okay. We are coming up on the halfway point of the show. It is Health Watch every Sunday, 8 till 9, here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Dr. Molly Fantasia is here, the Ph.D. doctor, the executive director, and the founder of Innovative Medical Associates, located in Marlton, New Jersey. 855-839-1210 is the number, 855-839-1210. And if you want to call in and wish Dr. Molly a happy birthday, you can. (laughs) Thanks, John. Okay. 855-839-1210. I'm your host, John DeMassey. Dr. Molly and I return. More Health Watch after these words. This program is paid for by Innovative Medical Associates. We are back here on Health Watch and operators standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates. You want to make that appointment, that initial consultation with Dr. Molly. It is complimentary, and that's really where you're going to find out a lot about what Dr. Molly can potentially do for you and can help you with whatever your problem is. 856-489-0505. 856 489 Four eight nine zero five zero five. That's the number for Innovative Medical Associates. You can call now. You can call after nine o'clock because the operators don't take Sundays off, <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of us. They're working eight five six four eight nine zero five zero five, and the website innovativemedicalassociates.com. Innovativemedicalassociates.com is the website. The show is Health Watch every Sunday, 8 till 9, here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Let's talk to our good friend Frank in the Northeast. Frank, good morning. You're on Health Watch. Hey, Frank. How are you? Hello. Hi, Dr. Molly and John. Happy um, one week later Easter. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. God bless. I hope you had a um, good one, my friend. Yes, thank you. Okay. I want to tell you um, something very important. But the previous caller, I just want to say hi. 
I recognize your voice from Dr. Paul's show. She's a lovely lady and a beautiful voice. Hi, Jane. Mm -hmm. How you doing? <laughs> um, Dr. Molly, I've known you for quite some time. I hate to do this to you. I'd rather tell you in person than over the phone, but I really can't get there to tell you in person. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. Happy birthday oh, to you. Happy birthday no, oh to goodness. you. Happy Frank. birthday to the best lady, <laughs> best doctor, best person I ever met in my life. Happy oh my birthday God. to you, Dr. Molly. I wish I could bring you a birthday cake from Hakley's Bakery, a German bakery around oh, the corner. Yeah. Oh, great. I know Happy about birthday, that. Happy birthday, Dr. Molly. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. That was very kind of you. And listen, you know, whenever you get a ride, you know you're always welcome to get over to see And Dr. Molly, okay? I wasn't kidding. I ride to see him in person. It won't sound as bad. <laughs> <laughs> you're the best. You're the best, Frank. Frank, God uh, bless. what did you do with the money that your mother gave you for singing lessons? <laughs> Let me tell you sometime. I went to St. Tim's Catholic School. So did I. Grade or something. So did they, I. They picked and told you I was in the choir. I lip sang for three days. Then the nun <laughs> says, "This thing, I'll be Marie by myself." She goes, "No, no, no. The choir's not for you. The choir's not for you." <laughs> she she yeah. sent me home. <laughs> Dr. Molly, uh, let me ask you a serious thing, man. That medication in in Liness that you recommended, mm -hmm. the doctor told me about the um, constipation problems. Mm -hmm. I aggravated my stomach, so I stopped taking them. Yeah, it um, can happen. It does. It does. That's the biggest side effect. It can really. I give called you... the pharmacy. They told me, give it a week. I called my yeah. GI doctor. He says give it two weeks. Never heard of it. Yeah. I gave it five days. Each day got worse and worse. I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. No yeah. yeah. I'm back to my regular stuff, which causes diarrhea. Yeah, of course. I'm having the muscle cramps again. Yeah, I'm I, sorry to hear. I got for the first time. I, I got potassium powder before, magnesium pills before, but never electrolyte powder. Mm -hmm. It's Doctor Burgers or Burgers. Mm -hmm. um, Electrolyte powder. It's yeah, a thousand of potassium. It's low in sodium. I'm thinking around 30 of sodium okay. and 130 of magnesium. Okay. Potassium, phosphorus. Should that yeah. help um, the cramping or anything? Uh, it should. It should. It should. And, uh, you know, the problem is the particular drug that we were talking about doesn't work like other drugs, you know, for constipation. It actually is a particular type of blocker. <laughs> So um, it works on, on, on the muscle. So, yeah, I would say yes, Frank, take it. You're okay. a smart oh, guy. Oh, Dr. Molly, yeah. I told you before, you and John, my favorite duet since Sonny and Cher, Captain and Teal. Ah, uh, come I, on. But I, but, I, but I took out one more duet. Nah, the Professor you're the best. and Marianne. <laughs> you're the best. You're the best. If you were on that island, there'd be no TV show. That, that boat would have been fixed, okay? <laughs> Thank God. Take care, Happy my birthday, friend. Dr. Molly. You're too good to us. Thank Thanks you. for the call, Frank. Okay. Well, that was an interesting call. We went, yep. we went to Gilligan's Island. and yeah, we went, back went, again. Yeah, and right. back. Okay. okay. Let's talk to uh, Joan and Ambler. Joan, good morning. Hi, Joan. You're on Health Watch with Dr. Molly. Hi, Joan. Good morning, Dr. Molly. Happy birthday. God bless you. Thank you. I have a question which just struck me as with the previous one of your previous callers that you were talking about the coenzyme Q10 yes. that helps when you're taking statins. Yes. Have you ever discussed with anybody why some of us have this terrible, unbearable pain when we take a statin drug? Yeah, usually it's and muscle with the related. Coenzyme, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. It's muscle related. Go ahead. Go ahead, dear. I'm, I'm yeah. interested. Here. So I, the doctor took me off of it. Well, I took myself off of it. And I told the doctor, no, statin. And he had me off for over a year, and he's dying to put me on statin. So he says, well, try it every other day. Well, I just mm -hmm. took it for a couple of days, and I, I don't know whether it was psychological, but it was in mm -hmm. terrible pain. Obviously, yeah. the doctors do not appreciate how painful that gets. Well, <clears throat> I'll tell you, I think you're absolutely right, the CoQ10. And again, you, you really shouldn't take the statins without the CoQ10 because it depletes this. And if you think about CoQ10 being an energetic type of, of substance, nutraceutical meaning, it really, it, it's highest, by the way, in the liver, heart, kidneys, and pancreas. So believe me, it's, yeah. it's stored in the powerhouse of the cell, which is the mitochondria. So you're absolutely right. But the other thing is, you know, maybe you might need to be on some glutathione as well as that. There's a couple of ways to do it, but I will tell you for the most part, most of my patients, we try our best to help them 
and help their cardiologist get them off the statins and possibly look at a different uh, formulary. And, uh, you know, and that includes even the red yeast rice or the red rice yeast, well, however you want to say it, but yeah. that yeah, is I a statin. Try the red rice. Right, I... but, but it's also statin-like, so it can also yeah. give you those cramping, a little less maybe, but it can do it. So, you know, the other thing I can tell you is we use a lot of chelation. Chelation, EDTA, will help move that around. And yeah. we've done, I just sent a patient of mine, but I'm going to tell you something else. CoQ10 can affect the low density particles, okay, the lipid particles in a positive way. And that might be something. You might have to up your CoQ10 amount. That may help actually reduce your uh, lower density lipids. So that might be something, uh -huh. you know. Come in and talk to me sometime. It'd be fun, okay? Okay. Uh, if the doctor keeps bugging me, I'm going to need a backup <laughs> from you. <laughs> okay. He did You're... put me on something else, so he's, he's, he finally decided to try something Good. else. So we'll Good. Good. Is it helping? Well. Good. Good. I'm uh, glad. And, well, you, and yeah. Good. It, it, putting some additional stuff on that won't hurt you. And I'll tell you, okay. you that you were smart to stay on top of them. Honestly, because guess what? It what's the point of having low cholesterol if you can't move around? <laughs> Come on. I you was know? frozen in work. I had to retire early because yeah. of the, the pain. I couldn't. I couldn't get I believe, to work. Listen, I believe you. I know they think it's in your head. No, sir. It's definitely in your muscles. God bless you, my dear. Yeah. Joan, so, thanks, thank you, thanks Joan. a lot. Thanks a lot thanks, for the Joan. call. Nice call. And you know that brings up a point where. I remember when I first went on the statins. Yeah. Oh. Boy, we had a. I mean, we went through. I mean, it had to be six or seven different variations yes. of it. Yes. Finally, yeah. we settled on one. Right. But uh, it's not. It, it's, it's not an easy process, right. John. It, it, it is really not. isn't. And, and that is what you know. It can cause the the taking statin drugs can cause the CoQ10 to be diminished. But see, here's the thing: CoQ10. You don't usually have. Uh, primary coenzyme Q10 deficiency. Most people don't have that. You can have it if you have a genetic uh, particular uh, defect, okay, that stops the body from properly using the coenzyme Q10. And this is very in and interesting, and we'll talk about that case a little later on yes. this. But, but I will tell you that also the other thing is lots of times I've found that people who do have a little bit of a deficiency of coenzyme Q10 really have it because they have deficiencies in the B vitamins that are necessary to help the CoQ10 activate. So there's a little bit of complexity with this, okay? How, how much should you take? Of well, see, there, there it is, okay? There's, there's the rub. Most dosages you'll see in, in the health food store go between 100 and 300 milligrams per, uh, per day. But, uh, and, and that's okay. Uh, but honestly, some, some are up as high as 600. I myself take 1,200 a day. Wow. I take well. That's why I feel like an energizing buddy. But but again, <laughs> <You have to. laughs> again, one of the things you want to look at is it can impede your sleep. I mean, there's some reasons to stop it. But for example, if you have some some uh, levels, high levels of oxidative stress or something, you want to take more enzyme CoQ10. So CoQ10 has has vital functions, right? It sustains the ATP, which is the natural energy. It, it also reduces the free radical damage, which is what the inflammation, this is what we need to look at. And there's so much data today that I've been seeing that it may help protect against cancer. Within the CoQ10 cells, there's a transport protein that crosses the membranes and also certain digestive enzymes from the rest of the cells, which helps maintain optimal pH. That protects you from maybe things like colon cancer. So it's got a lot of uh, reasons to take CoQ10, but I think most people know it from exercise, like a lot of the muscle heads, you know, I love them because they come in, oh, Molly, I'm taking all this CoQ10. They do really well. One of the other things I've seen it used for in our clinic, for example, and by the way, we deliver it IV and IM, okay? So you're getting a nice dose of CoQ10 in your bag. Uh, I didn't know that, but, but now that's I do. <laughs> one of the things, particularly for my heart patients. When we do our chelation, we all already add coenzyme Q10 to your bag, or 
we do it by I am shot. It depends on what I'm trying to do that particular day. So what happens is it really works also for people who have fibromyalgia. It can reduce overall pain symptoms, less headaches. It reduces, of course, the fatigue and the tiredness, and it can help restore the mitochondria. Th- We're going to stop right there because we have one more break uh, oh. coming up, but we'll pick that up right okay. after the break. It's Health Watch, Sundays 8 till 9 here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. 855 839 1210 is the number here in the studio. And we still have time for a couple of calls. If you have a question or a medical challenge that you want to run by Dr. Molly, feel free to call in now, 855 839 1210. I'm your host, John DeMassey. Dr. Molly and I return with more of today's Health Watch after these words. Operators standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates, and they will be there well after we leave you at 9 o'clock. They'll be there at 10, 11, 12. They're working all day. (laughs) 856-489-0505. That's the number, 856-489-0505. And, of course, the website, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com innovativemedicalassociates.com. That's the website. Check it out. A lot of good stuff on there as well. It is Health Watch every Sunday, 8 till 9, the live version here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Let's go to the phones. We're talking to Mark in Wilmington, Delaware. Mark, good morning. Welcome to Health Watch. Hi, Mark. Hey, happy birthday, Molly. Many, many Thank more. You. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, Mark. Thank you for that. Now, I have many questions I could ask you, but I was thinking, because it's your birthday, I was thinking about alternative sweeteners, and uh, uh, do uh, any have any redeeming value? And if, say, I was going to bake you a cake, this is hypothetical, I wish I could, <laughs> but, but uh, would any of them that have any redeeming value lose their value by being heated? Well, <laughs> this is that's a great loaded question, okay, well, and it is. Big, uh, Go ahead. Okay. I, I love I love that you gave me this question. Here's the thing. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. First of all, you really got to understand who I work with. John, mm-hmm. who's my girl for all the artificial sweeteners in the world? Barbara, Nurse Barbara. She hates mm-hmm. them all equally. She's an equal opportunity hater about them all. <laughs> yeah. She thinks they their redeeming qualities are not enough to use right. them. You know? Mm-hmm. But if she has to use them, she'll use some of the plant-based. That's it. But really does not like anything. And so when she's talking to the patients, you can be sure she's telling them, get it out of your diet. You know, and she starts with all these diet sodas, okay, which we all know is crazy talk, okay, even though they claim they've changed a lot of the ingredients. But frankly, I'm not a big fan of any of them. Uh, And, you know, if you're going to have a birthday cake, here's Dr. Molly's philosophy. Have a piece of the real stuff. You hear what Frank, uh, Frank said he wanted to bring me a piece of cake from that German bakery? Yeah, okay, have a small piece of cake. But that's it. Just have once. And it certainly won't hurt you on your birthday. So now right. uh, I'm open for you to discuss with me what you think about it. I have no well, problem. Well, I'm not on it or anything. But, you know, I heard that, like, Stevie or Sevia has mm-hmm. some redeeming qualities. And are yeah. you familiar? I'm not Go sure ahead. how to pronounce it. Triolos? Yes. Triolos? Yeah, Trialos. yeah, Have yeah. Quality? Yeah, Trialos? I don't, I can Not tell out. you, yeah, no, I can tell you that from our perspective, again, the other plant base is probably the best way to go. But again, we don't recommend if you can cut them out. And John knows this because he's been my best patient and my worst patient. You know, the worst of times, the best of times, that's our John. He knows that we're not big on any sweeteners. And if he's going to have a little piece of cake, we have to augment that with an extra drip for him during the week. But, you know, really, I mean that. You know, I think we, we spend too much time worrying about those kinds of things when if you eat right, just generally, right? Eat a small piece of cake once every month or something. I don't think that's a problem. I think it's our problem in America, I believe, is we overindulge, period. In sweets, alcohol, everything. We can't help it. We're the, we are the land of milk and honey, you know? Right. 
Now, yeah. could you tell me, or maybe I should call Barbara, could you tell me a little bit about triolose or trellolose? Sure. Call Barbara on Tuesday. She'll help you all right. <laughs> she'll, give you, she'll give you the whole biblical aspect of it, okay? I'm serious. She will write a, an encyclopedia for you. Mark, th- thank you, thanks Mark. a lot for the but call. But he's right. We appreciate he's it. right. I mean, you know. That's always been a problem for us. We have the mayor of Germantown with us, oh, Joe. God. Joe, God. good morning. Joe. Welcome Hi, to Joe. Watch. Hey, Joe, you probably know the benefits of that last sweetener. Uh, is it? Mm, is it we, we, we remember the name of the sweetener. I forgot the name of it and stuff. Yeah, Trollulus. Trollulus. Yeah. I, oh, I've heard of it. Yeah, I've heard, I've yeah. heard of it. I, I don't know too much about it, but I've heard of it, Dr. Miley. Yeah. You know? I don't it's like any of it. Yeah. yeah, you got to be careful with those sweetness. You really do. And like, exactly. you, say, like you said, like, it don't go and take a nice piece of sweets or stuff every now and then, but don't overindulge. And, right. And, you know, and you, and you know, Dr. Molly, as you well know, I must be, I must not have hit the I hit, I hit the lottery last night. That's why I'm still in Philadelphia. I didn't hit that billionaire's <laughs> power bar. So I, I played a couple of numbers, but I didn't win anything. But, but congratulations yeah. to the person or persons that won in Oregon. Congratulations yeah. to that, to that, who them people might be. But Dr. Molly, I know we started on time. I want to call and wish you a happy and blessed birthday, Dr. Thank Molly. Thank you so much. And God bless you, Joe. I mean it. You're a really smart guy. I, I, I remember listening to you all through COVID, and I really uh, applaud you. everything you've done. God bless you, sir. And Dr. Molly, may the good Lord bless you to see many, many more. I want to think about my wish I could get Stevie Wonder to sing happy birthday. Nobody's birthday is complete unless Stevie Wonder sings happy birthday today. Ah, <laughs> man. I would love that. God bless you, my right. friend. Thanks, God Dr. bless you. Y'all have a blessed Thank day you. now. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Joe. That Thanks nice. for the call. That was nice. We got a lot of birthday wishes here. Yes, I did. All uh, right, real quick, we have uh, we have about a minute left. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Do you want to finish this? Yeah, with sure. Coach Q10? Yeah, yeah. Well, one of the reasons why I was talking about Coach Q10 is because I had an interesting issue that came up. One of my patients who came in from out of town, they wanted me at some point to review genetic studies on their grandson, who was approximately two, two and a half years old. Now, the question is, I have to tell you, we do not treat children. Don't treat children. Young adults, I might, you know, we might do. But children, we don't do. And it turns out that her the son has a very bad digestive problem where he's being fed from a pump, a, you know, feeding pump, all right? So I spent, and by the way, it was a size of one volume of the encyclopedia, all his notes. I said it wasn't enough to get the genetic studies. I wanted to see what the pediatricians were saying about this kid. Now, mind you, this is done from Cincinnati, okay? And they do have a very well-known children's hospital out there. And this child has been to that several times. But anyway, the real interesting thing about this was when I read about this and I was looking at his reviews, his issue was had to do with coenzyme Q10 and a dysregulation in the mitochondria membrane that I was telling you earlier. So the the problem was messages couldn't be sent uh, within within the cells to actually help the CoQ10 to do its job to really um, use roles of, I don't want to get into a big thing, but let's say to actually work for breaking down fatty acid and glucose metabolism and several other things. So he was, he had a lot of damage to his GI tract, but really it was a mitochondria dysregulation that involved the coenzyme Q10. And believe it or not, folks, well, I called a patient of mine who happens to be a pediatrician because I realized there was one scientist doing the work, but he was with Children's Hospital. And I believe he was a PhD and and maybe a a DO, but I'm not really sure. But I know he was a PhD in molecular uh, medicine. Anyway, I knew that in order to get a kid into Children's Hospital, you really have to have them under the care of a pediatrician to refer. You have to have some kind of referral network. But anyway, she was gracious enough to look at the chart. I put the chart together and I did, what I did was I went through it and put it in an order so she didn't have to do what I did, which was the banker's box. So she looked at the chart. It took her a few weeks because remember, she's running a full practice. She called me back. She said, this is unbelievable. I got my patient to see her a week ago. Um, they called the Children's Hospital. They spoke yeah. to the only scientist who's doing the work. 
And with that, we are unfortunate oh, we are I'm out of sorry. time. <laughs> anyway, my kid's getting taken care of. Okay. We're going to put the wraps on another edition of Health Watch. Don't forget, operators standing by right now at Innovative Medical Associates, and they'll be there well after we leave you at 9 o'clock. 856-489-0505. That's the number. The website, InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. InnovativeMedicalAssociates.com. That's the website. For Dr. Molly Fantasia and everyone at Innovative Medical Associates, the lovely Linda and our nursing staff, Barbara, Lana, Donna, Vicki, and Daniel. And then, of course, there's Joanne, Delightful D, Fabulous Fran, and our medical assistant, Sandra. I'm your host, John DeMassey. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you next Sunday. Health Watch 8 till 9 here on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. You take care. This program is paid for by Innovative Medical Associates. All opinions or statements expressed on the program are solely those of Innovative Medical Associates or their guests and do not reflect the opinions of WPHT or Odyssey.